Your fingertips across my skin The palm trees swaying in the wind in my Whoa, whoa, pause the video. Um, why boss? You're playing Spider-Man's gameplay. We don't do that kind of thing on this channel, remember? Oh, right boss. There we go, thank you. Hello people of the Skylark, this is HRPB. The Maple Vodka Man, not the Slender Man, nor the Herbert Man, but the Maple Vodka Man. It's non-alcoholic, so don't worry, you can have some if you want. A lot has happened in the world of Spiral Knights since the last Love Ecto. Tortoguns, Apocryphal Harvester's return, General Patches like Fire and Stranger hat texture changes, more Regalia hats, Slime Sudoriscus, and much, much more grinding. But today we will talk about something. Yes, something. Something about this guy and this girl. He's Will Shiverchill, and she's Scarlet Shillington. A few months ago, Will and Scarlet would have never met each other if it wasn't for a specific balloon fight in Haven 3. They were in the middle of the fight and were dodging every balloon as best as they could. One wrong step, or rather one right step, made Scarlet fall into Will's arms. She felt embarrassed for tripping. He had mixed emotions like happiness, fear of being accused of doing something he shouldn't have done, remorse, relief that it was a woman and not a guy, because yeah, jubilation and all in all curiosity about who this beautiful woman was. So he helped her up and asked if she was okay. Scarlet then said, If it wasn't for you, I would have hit the ground hard. How could I ever repay you, kind sir? Hmm. I can think of something. No, 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 no. Bad will. Bad will. We're never going into his thoughts again. This is what really happened. So he helped her up and asked her if she was okay. Scarlet then slapped him for not helping her up as soon as he could have and should have. Will then said in slow motion, Why did you show up my fur? As she was about to slap him again, she stopped mid-slap and rubbed her eyes. She then saw this handsome, innocent young guy who just helped her dodge a concussion. Long story short, they went to a hospital to get his face checked for possible lacerations and internal bleeding. Scarlet asked him if he wanted to go punch punch with her. Punching punch, new sport, don't ask. Anyway, when they came to his home, something evil, or rather someone evil, was there. It was Snakes as Shabbatern. Snakes as Shabbatern. Snakes as Shabbatern. Another long story short, she was scared, he took him down, she kissed him, they got married, and they all lived happily ever after. Not the end though. One peaceful morning, the GWPH, great, wise, and powerful Heavenly Snipes, approached Scarlet. Because Heavenly Snipes exist, I guess. They were there for a reason. They rarely show themselves tonight, but their message was this. Hello, my name is Scarlet. How did you know my name? We are wise and old. Of course we know everything. We even shot you guys down with our lasers for crying out loud. Damn boss, you shouldn't tell them about that. Oh yes, yes, anyways. We have come to tell you something, something important. Your husband is the one who will save us all from destruction, so take care of him. We leave him to you. But how will he save everyone from destruction? Ahem, boss, you didn't tell her how he's gonna save us all. Just a while ago you wanted me to stop talking, now you want me to. Ugh, okay, okay. Your husband will use one object to save us all. One legendary object. One object of power that comes with great responsibility. It is long, crispy, and sometimes dipped in chocolate. It is a churro. Huh? Where did they go? Hey, honey. Who are you talking to? Huh? Dun, dun, dun. Downstairs.